Hi all, today had to have been the longest day possible. I just got home. Right now it is well after 10 p.m. It wasn't like a lot after 10 p.m. Um, one of my friends said he was gonna pick me up from work and um, he's gonna go pick up one of his kids and if I wanted to come with him and I went for a little ride. I think that was fun. Good conversation, good vibes. Learned how to pump gas. <laughs> That was very anticlimactic. And now I may or may not smell like gas. So that's fun. <laughs> but um, yeah. And now I'm tired. So now I'm going to shower and go to sleep because tomorrow. I literally have to be at work. I mean, I've gone to bed later than this and like still woke up and was fine, but I'm kind of tired. So I need to do that. And of course, this is another one of the weeks where I scheduled myself all the way out again. Don't know why I keep doing that to myself, but I did that again. So that's fun as well. Just did my laundry yesterday and I feel like the basket is already filling all the way up. So that's fun. But, um, what was I looking at? Oh, I have this thing that I need to... Goodbye, guys. Days and days and days and many more days later. Just coming home from work and from the grocery store collectively because I wanted to get a few items and I was so deliberate or at least I thought I was being deliberate and I went to the grocery store with a list and I still end up leaving with things that were not on the list. Like two bottles of wine, sliced mangoes, all types of stuff. However, um, I'm waiting for my groceries to be delivered so that I can pop in the shower and uh, pop in the shower and wash my hair because um, I need to wash my hair. Delissa signed me up for this extracurricular activity later that I told her that I'm not going to and she's still stressing the issue telling me she's gonna pick me up or come by my house at whatever time and I'm just like bro I said I'm not going. Two days ago she signed me up for something else too that I said I wasn't going to and I ended up going. I feel like I've broken her bad. Because I will be the one who will say that I'm not going and I still end up going. Yesterday at work, I worked retail yesterday. I bought some um, conditioner for my hair, some color conditioner because of course I want the black to last for a while. Oh my gosh, like in the frame right now, my ends look so dry. Maybe because they are. But I'm going to wash my hair today so that's going to go away. Every time this thing goes off, I'm thinking that it's the guy to like deliver the stuff. Oh my god, this is exactly why she ends up in that position all the time. My friend Shanae and I are talking about um, buying stuff on Shein and I'm always telling her that I have the best experiences when I buy on there and she's just like, yeah, except I have the worst experiences and I'm just like, bro, because you don't read reviews. I read reviews, I look at the pictures because I hate going to the post office and having to like return stuff. I don't want to do that absolutely do not want to deal with that so i read the reviews so i don't have to go through that process go through that process and i never get anything that i have to send back so i say that to say reading reviews are essential don't be like shanae at all <laughs> at all today is today's what friday ready for work just coming off of what was supposed to be two days off but it wasn't really two days off because one day i worked retail and the other day I was home which was yesterday so I was pretty decent but now I gotta go work and I'm working for like the next four days or so I'm trying to figure out my schedule to make it a little bit better because the last week I worked seven days before I got a day off and that was no fun at all no fun whatsoever so I'm making sure that this time it's better I think next week I'm gonna take two days off just because or like I'm gonna go in at 2 p.m. one of the days and the other day I like going earlier so but we'll see I'm just seeing this now I have to actually see how I feel next week so if I'm gonna do that then my day off next week is gonna be Tuesday am I not able to touch this yeah so um I'm trying to see how I can really make this work for me Especially in a case like this where like I'm not trying to schedule myself out too much. 
but my friend and I are supposed to go on a trip in like two months. A month is just normal. Yeah, two months, three months, maybe. So right now I'm putting in the work to make sure that when I leave, I don't feel like I'm missing any money, you know? Gotta make up for it before it comes. So that is the plan, which is why I'm working so much right now. And truth is I didn't even have to start like out scheduling myself like that for like six days from now. I could have done that like next month. But um, this month I feel like, you know, I'm fine. Last month I really rested a lot. There were a lot of days that I didn't go to retail after I was scheduled and stuff like that. So I'm like, yeah, it's okay, I'm fine. So that is what I'm doing right now. Fixing the schedules when my manager asks me, I know what I'm telling him. And the other, the last week I'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm about to leave right now because right now it is 6 a.m. And I'm not taking any with me either. It's not supposed to rain today or anything. So let's go. Put my airpod in and i will see you guys later hi guys so today has not been one of my best days and this is the first i'm having one of these days in a very very long time so while it sucks i'm just like yeah there has to be balance and like at some point i would have had one of these days but um to compensate for that i literally just came home and decided that i'm going to shower and sleep and hopefully when i wake up i feel way better than before i went to sleep um I'm okay right now. Obviously, the day is pretty much over, so like I'm fine and everything. It's just that my head kind of hurts a little bit, and I'm just going around here trying to light my candle to kind of see if I can put myself in like a better mood, trying to help like improve my mood and stuff because I'm not that person who likes to like dwell on things of any sort, and definitely the bad moods are not the ones that I like to dwell on either. Either so. I just lit the candle inside of my bedroom. I've lit the candle inside the kitchen. And I'm currently lighting the candle inside of the living room. Mainly because I'm going to be making curry. And with curry, it stays on everything. So we're going to light the candles, open the windows a little bit. And um, while that is underway, I'm going to just set up my queue on YouTube here. And, um, you know, just sit down and watch a few videos because... While there's not much that I do, um, I like, you know, catching up on some of the people that I do like to watch. So I feel like hopefully that should help improve my mood while I'm making dinner. So I'm really going to see how that works. But for the most part, that has just been my day today. What you guys are watching is like a, a vlog over the period of like two weeks. I haven't been the most motivated these last two weeks. And nothing is wrong with me. I just have not been in the mood to like pick up the camera and like talk to the camera or whatever. So hopefully that changes, right? Because this is not it, sweetie. So, um, yeah. But I'm making some food and hopefully my day gets better. I hope everybody who's watching this, you had a way better day than mine. And if you're watching this at morning time, what chances are you are watching this at morning time? You have an amazing day today because this bad day that I had... Energy is transferable and I do not want to transfer that energy onto you guys. So thank you guys for watching. This is where I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.